We got a brand new camera. It feels good to be back on the vlog camera. Um, if you guys missed the last video, um, we went jet skiing. Um, I'll put some clips in right here. Oh shit, are you good? And we actually broke my camera. I ended up dropping my camera or we flipped over to the jet ski. Oh, oh <laughs> Soaked everything, my phone, wallet, keys, camera, everything. Um, and my camera ended up being literally done. So we had to get a new camera. But anyways, got the Jamba Juice ready. Just finished up a workout and uh, linked up with the guys. About a few days ago, I think three days ago, we picked up the brand new car for the channel. And um, I still cannot believe it, guys. This has literally been a dream of mine. Um, and uh, I honestly, I don't have the words. Like, it's just so crazy. So a little backstory on the car. Now, over the weekend, I went to Disneyland with my girlfriend and my nephews. I've been searching for this car literally every single day. I go online, I search up this car, and um, I just see what's in the area. So I've been doing this like daily. So we spent the night over in LA um, after we went to Disneyland. And the next day, check my phone just to see the cars in the area. And um, this one popped up out of nowhere. Um, and I was like, yo, it's in the area, low miles, not necessarily the color that I want. And it's also the year I wanted. Well, the year range I wanted. What the? <laughs> Are you good, fam? Everyone's in the car. Are you just chilling? Huh? Everyone's in the car. Oh, I almost done. Anyways, um, yeah, it popped up out of nowhere, and um, I was like, I can't sleep on this offer. Like, it's literally almost everything I wanted besides the color. Um, but most importantly, the price was good as well as low miles. With that being said, since I was on like a little trip, I didn't bring my camera because I was not planning on, you know, expecting this. Um, but I think I got like a little clip like walking out of the dealership, but I wasn't able to film like a normal video. So right now is gonna be the reveal of the car. Um, comment down below what you guys don't skip through. Please do not skip through, but comment down below what car you think I got. Um, I've been talking a lot about a BMW, another Mustang, an STI and um, that's pretty much been my top three uh, BMW F30 Mustang GT like the one I had and a WX STI everybody's just watching me film I like your shirt bro thanks dude we're matching my friend, uh, Burgess. it's your friend my Burgess we're matching <laughs> so you've seen the car is this car no not this car the, the new one I told him it would either be Mustang F30 or an STI I already knew what you were gonna get it was, I already, I went to go see your other car. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I knew you were going to get that because we want to go look. No, don't one. say it. I haven't oh, told them yet. Got yeah, the car. Yeah. I'm going to beep it out. Because we already looked it out or looked at the other one. You saw it yesterday. What do you think? I like, I like yes. the, I like I, the color. I, I, can't, I can't talk about it. I like it. You I like, like the it? color. What it's do you got... think of it? You haven't seen it yet, but what do you think of it? <laughs> I literally haven't showed you. Um. Can't wait to see the M4. The M4? <laughs> Jeez, dude. Gosh. <laughs> what is that? But yeah, they know, they all know, but comment down below what car do you think it is. I feel like you guys have an idea, but I'm excited. I'm excited to show you guys. It's been something I wanted for a while, and uh, I felt like it'll be perfect for the channel because I feel like a lot of you guys watching have this car, and um, in general, I just feel like it's it'll be it'll be good. It'll be good for everything. It's a really cool experience, especially since it's your first time. Um, it'll be really cool for sure. Um, I think TJ and I will do a cool little reveal walk around thing too for all of you guys. So. so let me know about um next week and then we'll get everything situated and stuff. 100%. Sounds good, dude. I'll uh, catch up with you uh, later in the week. Okay. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Tom. Talk to you. Later. Hey. Here's a new car. I'm debating on which one to take to get some rollers with. I think we're gonna do the BRZ since this one's like kind of the new one. Getting the Forerunner ready, we're gonna use this for some rollers. Got the back window down. That's what I love about it. So sick. Here. <laughs> so 
so clutch. Ready, brother? Ready? I'm ready. All right, go Grand Canyon. All right, guys, time for the reveal. Haven't showed anybody yet online, social media, anything. This is literally, I don't know, this stuff is super, super exciting. <laughs> yeah, we got Ethan driving the new car and Jeremy driving the BRZ. We're gonna get some sick rollers as well as probably some reels for Instagram. Oh my. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He wants How do you air up? Oh, oh. Hey, just, just angle it. Okay. You'll be fine. You say so. Don't mess up the street hunter lip though. <laughs> Don't mess up the $1,000 lift. We're casually just in traffic. I know everybody's just staring at me. But you got on the freeway. Huh? But you got on the freeway. <laughs> Here it is. This is my new, well, it's not really new. It is actually used, but new to me, 2020 Subaru WRX STI. Guys, I've been talking about this car for so freaking long, and uh, we came across a fairly good deal. I mean, the market right now is crazy, so good deals aren't really existent anymore, but compared to all the other ones out there, we came across this, and um, we just had to hop on it. So like I said, this is a 2020 STI, and I was really looking for a 19 plus for the Type RA block, and we got it. I'm super, super happy. Has the huge freaking brakes that everybody loves, the stock 19s, and um, dude, this is so crazy. Like, we are officially in an STI. Uh, not too long ago, if you guys have been around on the channel, we had the 2020 WRX. It's kind of cool that we got the same exact year, but this time it's an STI. Now, to be completely honest, I am not a fan of silver whatsoever. Um, silver isn't really one of my choices really in cars. I don't really like silver at all, but we couldn't sleep on this deal. The condition is honestly really, really great. I don't see any damage really. Um, there's no dings or anything. The paint is all right. It could use a nice paint correction, um, but overall this car, the condition is close to flawless guys like there's no dings no dents everything seems to look right but yeah the inside is so freaking cool compared to the WRX now the center console area is quite similar to the WRX um, I mean given it's the same exact year as the WRX but um, it's so cool how we have the leather Alcantara seats as well as the red accents now the seat belts are so cool This is probably my favorite thing in the interior uh, the red seat belts the red accents. We got some back seats <laughs> I missed the space that the WRX had um, so it's so cool to have a set of back seats and um, Just space honestly just to throw stuff in the back versus like the FRS and BRZ is kind of a hassle like you know hauling stuff around but yeah as you guys can tell this thing is literally close to brand new guys like i said it's only 7,000 miles um so the condition on this car is honestly really really great um it's it's just so clean inside and out and i'm super super happy with this purchase in general i'm kind of picky not gonna lie when i'm looking for cars um that's why i usually go you know the brand new route um, but this one, it's really good. The condition and everything. It looks as if this car has never been modified or touched. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> but um, I'll go ahead and pop the hood. Here it is. Good old EJ. The nice signature rumble. I cannot wait to throw an exhaust on this car. It's gonna sound so good. But yeah guys, this thing is so clean. It looks as if the car has never been touched. Um, I feel like I'm a broken record. I said it like five times already, but I can't believe it. Like I'm still at a loss for words really. As we have so much planned for this car, like I'm already, you know, coming up with a list of, you know, what I plan on putting on the car and I'm just adding my own personal taste. I know a lot of you guys that watch the channel have STIs, have WRXs. So I hope this purchase right here made you guys happy. 
but it's it's so good to be back. I miss the WX every single day. I miss the red one that I had. Um, and it's nice that we have an STI now so we can mess around with it again. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, huge plans for this car, guys. Uh, we have some parts that I have in mind already that are going to be placed very, very soon. Um, and I think the very first thing, if you guys watch the channel, the very first thing that I do is throw some window tints on this because the fishbowl, the fishbowl look is just not my vibe to be honest. So if all goes well, I believe this upcoming Saturday we should be sending the car off for some window tints. This car definitely needs some dark windows, so we're definitely gonna take care of that this Saturday. Now if you guys saw my WX build and saw all the videos, you guys saw that I bagged it, you know, put some TEs on it, and uh, kind of made it like a stance car. We had like stretch tires and everything. But for this car, I feel like I want to try something different um, and kind of do, you know, like coils um, instead of the bags because I know a lot of you guys always comment, you know, like, when are you going to make like a static car? When are you going to put like coilovers instead of bags? So I think now's the time we're going to do something a little bit different with this car this time. So yeah, it only makes sense, you know, like, I just feel like repeating, you know, like the same thing that we did with the WX uh, wouldn't really make sense. So this time around, I definitely want to um, kind of switch it up a little bit, you know, add some coils, which is a big change from what I usually do. This thing definitely needs an exhaust. <laughs> it feels good to be back in this interior. I missed it so much. What do you guys think down in the comment section below? I feel like you guys saw this coming. Let me know what you guys think down below of the new STI. I kind of want to hear your guys' input. Like, what do you guys want to see with this car? Um, I kind of have a vision already set that I want the car to look like, um, but I want to see what you guys think. You know, what would you throw on the STI? What do you guys want me to do? Um, like I said, I want to try something different, you know, with coils or something. Um, just something different from, you know, the whole bagged car, stance car thing. But yeah, if there's anything you guys want me to try out or like see on this car, like I said, let me know down in the comment section below. So this is what I put on Instagram. Um, <laughs> this is actually my friend Ethan's F80 M3. Uh, so I did this little teaser, you know, like kind of teasing you guys and a lot of you guys are guessing, oh, did you get a BMW? But no, this is a little teaser. Obviously you guys don't know yet because when I'm filming this video, I haven't you know showed anybody so I'm scrolling through all the comments right now um, a lot of people are saying like a90 Supra uh, Lexus a lot of people are saying BMW obviously and um, also Mustang like I mean it kind of does look like my old Mustang that I had um, but it is kind of funny since we're in the new STI I got to do my signature I think I'm gonna head to Chick-fil-a right now and um, do my little mac and cheese chicken sandwich <laughs> okay honestly I have been staying away from fast food um i've been doing pretty good stop drinking soda for the most part i mean i take some sips here and there i've been really drinking water trying to stay away from fast food but i feel like we gotta celebrate a little bit with the new sti so i think we're gonna go to chick-fil-a grab something real quick but yeah this car definitely needs an exhaust <laughs> it's so quiet <laughs> Ooh, it has a nice little kick to it compared to the wx um, it's hard to say which one feels quicker, you know, stock. I had the WX, or last time I drove in it was like like six, six to eight months ago, so it's been a while, guys. But right off the bat, this car feels much, much sportier. Uh, the steering feel is like really stiff. Um, it's not light like the WX. It kind of reminds me of the FRS, not gonna lie. It has like a very stiff, um, like steering feel. The WX, when driving it, it felt like I was driving like a stick shift, like like a normal economy car. It did not feel like a sports car whatsoever. Um, but this car, what I can say, you know, stock straight from the dealership, is uh, it feels much sportier than the WRX. But man, I can't wait to freaking unleash that, you know, that that signature Subaru Rumble, that unequal link manifold uh, with these STIs. I cannot wait to throw an exhaust on it and really open this thing up and hear what it sounds like. It's so quiet. I honestly don't even know if you guys can hear it on camera. Just got back from Chick-fil-A. I always do the little mac and cheese sandwich, but if I don't do that, then I do what I'm about to show you guys right now. 
fork. We've got our grilled chicken nuggets, buffalo sauce, larger mac and cheese. All right, so we got our knife and plate. <laughs> this is like a cooking channel now. Dump our chicken, I'm gonna cut these. Good, bro. Cut these into smaller pieces. Dude, the grilled chicken nuggets are so bomb. Like even plain, like they're so good. Probably not gonna use all of them because it's a lot, but it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. So we're gonna do it with one hand. Oh shoot. All right, this is not working out. Hold on. Put the chicken in the mac and cheese. All right, chicken in the mac and cheese. We're not done yet. Grab your buffalo sauce. So hard to do with one hand, but. And just like that. Damn, that looks so good. <laughs> now we just mix it. There you guys have it. Buffalo chicken mac and cheese from Chick-fil-A. This is so bomb, literally. I haven't had this in so long. But that's my little Chick-fil-A segment. I like showing you guys little random stuff like this. I feel like it's like super fun. It's funny and um, you guys love seeing it as well because you guys always tag me on Instagram of like of you guys like trying it out yourselves. So I just think it's super fun, super cool. But yeah, I'm gonna finish up dinner. I was thinking about it. Um, when I was driving home the STI from the dealership, I was just thinking about how, about how thankful and um, just appreciative and thankful I am for you guys as supporters. Um, you know, we started with just the FRS and now we have a fleet. You know, we got the Beer Z, the FRS, and now the STI. And um, it's it's such a blessing to say the least. Um, I just wanna tell you guys thank you so much, guys, for the comments, the likes, you know, watching the videos, sharing them, buying the merch, um, you name it. Like, you guys watching all played a part in this. And um, I just wanna say from like the bottom of my heart, just like thank you so much. Um, you guys truly made such an impact on my life, um, on me as a person. Um, so the least I could do is show you guys how appreciative I am of you guys and honestly just like one-to-one -one, like Just thank you without you guys and the man above This wouldn't even be possible. So if you guys enjoyed the video today the new reveal of the STI Smash that like button for me and uh, comment down below, you know any tips pointers advice or anything to look out for with the STI I did build the WX and they do have their similarities, but Again, they are two completely different cars. So if there's anything to look out for, um, let me know down in the comment section below. Um, you know, for all you guys who have STIs or anything, I would greatly appreciate it. And um, that's why you guys are the best. You guys always come through. I'm finished up this dinner and um, get this video edited up because I cannot wait to show you guys the new STI. I'm gonna let you guys go for today. And um, this is really exciting. But yeah, we got round two from the WRX and I'm excited. This is gonna be a good one.